1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man! Cut the lines! Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more. Withdraw your shadow from my domain! Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes.
The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb.
get here. Incredible. You are...
18th of August, 1839. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Orchstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. We took the coach and went there. Our visit was unexpected and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the other. of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. <laughs> we should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now.
nothing short. escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? 
Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent to save myself? A cold-blooded murderer.
August 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them.
It was my greatest triumph, and I never looked back. You think I was afraid of fleeing Brennenberg? <laughs> Quite the contrary. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. There's no denying the things I've done, but I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing.